Number 16, 1985, the Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. The Jefferson Nickel is a popular coin among collectors, and full steps designation refers to the steps on Monticello being fully struck and visible. Such coin with a high grade of MS67 and full steps can indeed be considered rare and valuable, but the actual value would depend on several factors, including its overall condition, demand among collectors, and the current numismatic market. The present Superb Gem ended up selling for $1,370.25 with buyer's fee. Number 15 here is exquisitely toned 1981 D. Susan B. Anthony Dollar, graded in mint state 67 by PCGS. Outstanding cobalt blue iridescence blankets, the obverse and central reverse, blending with slightly warmer olive gold around the periphery on the reverse. A fully struck, highly lustrous coin with exceptionally well preserved surfaces for the design type. After only two years in circulation in 1981, the coin was produced exclusively for collectors with only 3,250,000 coins struck at Denver Mint, then abandoned until a brief resurrection in 1999 on the eve of the Sacagawea dollar. This attractive Anthony dollar fetched the sum of $2,640 at auction. Number 14, 1959 Roosevelt Diamond PR68 Deep Cameo Condition. The PR stands for proof indicating that this dime is a specially made coin for collectors not intended for general circulation. Proofs are struck using polished dies and planchets, resulting in a sharp, mirror like finish. The numeric grade 68 signifies that this coin is in excellent condition, with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. The deep cameo designation refers to the high contrast between the frosted design elements and the mirror background. It indicates an exceptionally well struck and visually stunning coin. This true gem ended up selling for $3620.75 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Number 13, error 1976 the Ike dollar in MS62 condition, struck 30% off center. A remarkable striking error on Bicentennial Ike, soundly off center to 5 o'clock, highly lustrous and brilliant. The mint mark remains complete on off verse, scattered minor marks, and some bluntness of strike noted. Number 12 here is 1914 D. Lincoln Cent in MS65 red and brown condition. According to Heritage, the 1914 D has a secondary key date compared to the 1909 SVDB, but it is actually the scarcer coin in high grade. This gem red and brown example displays satiny luster and well defined motifs with minimal dye erosion in the margins. A carbon spot on the bottom of the C in scent is a pedigree marker. It was sold for $6,600. Number 11, this is 1913 Lincoln Scent in PR67 red and brown condition, likely due to the introduction of the new Buffalo Nickel, which was only sold in silver or minor proof sets, rather than singly. The proof 1913 Lincoln scent was produced in somewhat greater quantities than in previous years, but is nevertheless rare in superb gem condition. This piece boasts a needle sharp strike over beautifully preserved matte surfaces. Deep violet and lilac accents complement strong bronze gold luster on each side, giving this representative exceptional visual appeal. It was sold for $8,225. Number 10, here is 1949 as Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines and star designation. Crescents of extremely vivid crimson red and softer powder blue peripheral toning provide truly memorable eye appeal for this rare Franklin half. It ended up selling for $8,812.50. Number 9, this is 1954 Jefferson Nickel in PR69 deep cameo condition. According to NGC, most 1954 proof nickels are fully brilliant and gems of this sort are quite common. Cameo pieces are more scarce than the certified population suggests, as such coins are more likely to be submitted 
for grading. Ultracameo coins do exist but are quite rare. It was only the greater number of dyes needed for rising proof mintage that increased the number of frosted proofs. This gem fetched a sum of $11,686.50 with buyer's fee at auction. Number 8. This is 1950 Washington Quarter with a punched mint mark, D over S variety, high end guidebook coin. An unusual pair of our mint marks are the mirror twin 1950 DS and 1950 SD Washington Quarters. This is a remarkable high end example of the former, brightly lustrous, with just a hint of frostiness and light canary yellow toning over much of each side. Minor striking softness is of little concern compared to an over mint mark that is visible to a sharp unaided eye. It was sold for $13,800. Number 7. This is 1957 Lincoln Cent in MS67 Plus red condition. Conditionally scar superb gem red example of this late with scent issue, rare in this grade with PCGS Plus designation. Luster is frosty and vibrant, yielding rich copper orange and rose red hues with no carbon spotting. Strike sharpness is similarly impressive. It was sold for $13,800. Number 6. This is 1970s Lincoln scent with double dye of verse set in nearly brilliant luster blankets, both sides of this exquisite upper end gem. The complexion is best in original light orange mint color that glows radiantly under illumination, well struck and without notable blemishes, leaving the doubling clearly defined on the Overs legends. The CAC proven MS66 red gem ended up selling for $18,000. Number 5. This is 1980s rare with what time with missing mint mark S. Graded as Proof 70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Absolute gem in all senses, without single distraction and stark contrast between fields and reliefs. The 1983 NOS Proof Roswell Time is a third and last no proof S coin struck in Proof Roswell Time series. This rare gem ended up selling for $20,489.70 with buyer's fee. Number 4. This is 1948s Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. Gorgeously toned excellent gem. A booming luster rolls under rich and all-encompassing patina. Mostly in warm colors such as reddish orange and rose gold but with elements of green and blue as well. While the detail on the Washington's upper wig is soft, not uncommon for this issue, the all-around eye appeal is as hard to top as a coin's magnificent preservation. It was sold for $23,500. Number 3. Here is 1922 Nodi Lincoln Cent in MS65 brown condition, highly sought after coin with CAC approval. This high-grade example of the famous Nodi Strong Reverse Scent affords an unusual opportunity to examine what this rarity looks like in gem condition, but mellowed with time. The obverse displays a diagnostic mushy strike, the L in Liberty pulled to the rim, and the portrait under detailed. The reverse, in comparison, is far sharper but still displays a few areas of weakness on the high points of the wheat stalks as typical for this issue, and the tired state of dyes. It was sold for $67,562.50. Number 2. 1909 SVDB Lincoln sent in MS67 red condition. According to Stax Bowers, among the most famous coins in American numismatics, and ones that even non collectors have sold ever since its introduction, the 1909 SVDB Lincoln sent has stood. The test of time in terms of popularity, a landmark example of this perennially popular key date issue from the first year of the Lincoln Sense series, untroubled by even the most trivial blemishes, the surfaces approach the zenith of numismatic perfection. They are fully lustrous and frosty with outstanding mint color in vivid reddish orange, razor sharp in striking detail with extraordinary eye appeal. It ended up selling for $168,000 in 2022. And the most valuable coin of this episode, exceedingly rare 1958 double dive worth cent. 
graded in mid state 64 red condition by PCGS, an intriguing variety and exceedingly rare coin that stands tall among Lincoln pennies. A particularly strong double die in the 20th century US coinage series, all types included the spread to the doubling, is wide and pronounced on letters in the word liberty, and the motting God would trust. Less pronounced doubling is also evident on the digits of the date, particularly the 8. The spread on the lettering rivals that of famous 1955 and 1972 double die of verse sense. Although extreme rarity of the 1958 double die of verse means that this variety is less well known than the other, far more plentiful varieties. It was sold for $336,000. We hope you found it as fascinating as we did. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more captivating coin discoveries. Stay well.